you know, this, this hijab cannot be a barrier. You know, and, th and this is where um, I would say that the Muslim uh, women who are being targeted, because they practice their faith, they are actually not only doing something on a personal level to practice this faith, it is in a way jihad for them. You know, Muslim men, we can just go around because beard is very common in many, you know, cultures. Um, Attire-wise, there is no issue. It is the hijab, which is distinctive, you know, identity of Muslim women. How would you explain um, this situation to the kids who are very upset to lose their teacher? Okay. First, the school board should have uh, not hired this person in the first place as a teacher, given Bill 21. Uh, and I want to remind everybody that uh, uh, the Bill 21 became a law in June 2019. Okay, it was voted uh, democratically by the National Assembly. I think it's a reasonable law, a balanced law. And only, uh, it wasn't the proposal of the Parti Québécois, but in our law, only employees in positions of authority, uh, uh, including teachers, should not wear religious symbols while on duty. At home, in the street, they can do what they want. And Quebec has made the choice of uh, secularism, and uh, I think it must be respected. Listen. The hijab is an element of Islam, the Sharia. Now, you should love for the Sharia of Allah to be established through the legal, lawful channels without violating the laws of the land. Now, Taliban happen to be the ruling authority in Afghanistan. Don't they have the right to at least show their women the Islamic dress code, like France. Macron is the ruling force in France. They are giving the right, they are giving the right to tell the people what to wear and what not to wear. This is in a nutshell, brothers and sisters in Islam. I love you all for the sake of Allah. We'll see you once again. Assalamu alaikum. Je suis en profond désaccord. I deeply disagree with Bill 21. I don't find that in a free society, someone should lose their job because of their religion. That is our government's position and as a party. We will continue to be on Quebec's side, who are themselves shocked and disappointed that Fatima Anvari lost her job because of her religion. One day we're going to look back at this chapter in Canadian history and there'll be a lot of sorrow.